They're just beautiful. Oh, that's so cool. Hey everybody. Sorry, I'm like blind right now. <laughs> so I was really, really wanting to deliver some rock hunting or fossil hunting while I'm down here. So I actually went onto my Google Maps and did some searching and then called around to see if I could get permission and I think I found a pretty cool spot. I don't know how much time we're going to be able to spend and I honestly have no idea what to expect, but uh, yeah, we might find some cool stuff and it's worth a shot anyway. So yeah, let's go do that. We are finding a bunch of fossil stuff already. All these shells are actually fossil. You can see some really old ones in here. So we're just gonna poke around, see if we can't find anything cool. If not, we gave it our best shot and I'll have to figure something else out. <laughs> Ooh, what are you? Oyster shell, oh, do you see it? Are you intact? Pretty intact, that's an olive. That's awesome. So I did some peeking and this is clearly stuff that was dredged because amidst there are definitely fossils in this pile, but you can see from this uh, shark's eye, this and these two olives, they have wonderful gloss on them still. Oh, there's another one. So they clearly aren't that old. So I'm assuming we're gonna be finding kind of a, a mix of both. That's a nice olive, I'll take that any day. Oh, look at you. Look at that coral. What, Alexis? Let me see. Oh yes, yeah, see that's calcite. Oh. It's a calcified fossil. So yeah, see, thank you for proving my point, Alexis. There's a mixture of fossilized stuff in here and, uh, you know, modern day. Oh man, look at those calcite crystals. That is beautiful, oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm gonna put that in my safe pocket because I gotta get a close up on that on my phone for you guys, that is beautiful. Man, I gotta tell you guys, it was so hard trying to find a place where we could actually hunt. I'm so used to Florida where I, or Montana, where I can just look up, <laughs> you know, BLM maps and public land maps, and it's really not that hard to find a spot. I had to really, really work to figure out where we could actually search in Florida. Yes. Is it? Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful crystal. Again, that's going in my safe pocket so I can get a close-up for you all. That is beautiful. Huh, what's this? Oh gosh, if I can reach it. Hey, more calcite. Sweet. Alexis just found a beautiful chunk of calcite. Really nice yellow calcite. Well, it seems like the best crystals have been off these pieces of quahog. And yeah, you can definitely see there's some calcite in there. Again, it's probably hard to see because I don't have my other phone out or my other camera out right now, but I will get it out shortly. I can't tell if that's fossil-y, calcite-y stuff or if it's just coquina. Ooh, that looks like some good calcite. Again, once we get back to the house, I'll rinse everything off and we'll get some cool looks at all of these. But yeah, that's totally, totally calcite. Well, I just found this, which shows very promising signs of calcite, but apparently Alexis found something amazing. I found it still. Oh my goodness. Look at that fossil oyster, <laughs> complete with fossil barnacles. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Well, sweet. That's awesome. What else did you find? Ooh, oh, wow. That's an old piece of a whelk. Yeah, you can actually see some calcite growth in there. In the world, like who's that from? Uh, Quahog. Oh man, okay, so first this has some gorgeous calcite. Excited to clean that off, but I just spotted this, which is showing very promising signs. I cannot wait to get this cleaned off. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look what Alexis just spotted. That is a perfect whelk shell. Looks like a lightning whelk. Yeah, because the opening is on the left-hand side. So, yep, that's a uh, lightning whelk. 
Ooh. Okay, so this looks like an olive, but it, I can also clearly see all the calcite on it. That's gonna clean up well, probably. <laughs> this is some cool stuff. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, it seems like the, the stuff that has calcite is almost entirely these quahog clams. And I can't see very well because it's very dirty, but this one looks pretty promising. A little seashell. Again, I'm gonna I'm just probably gonna keep saying that this whole time, but <laughs> it's hard to know without cleaning. And I feel very unarmed without my spray bottle. Never realized how much I rely on the thing. Oh my gosh. That's a piece of a sand dollar. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, you can really see the calcite on this one. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's another whelk. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, look at that calcite. Wow, that is great crystals. All right. Well, the sun is going down and the mosquitoes are definitely coming out, so I think it might be time to head out right after I pick up this calcite. Man, awesome stuff though. I will make sure to get everything cleaned off back at the house and we'll get some close-ups. Alrighty, well, that is going to do it for this spot. We are a, running out of daylight, and B, the mosquitoes are coming out with a vengeance. So, I'm gonna get back to the house, we're gonna get everything cleaned off, and I will show you some of the awesome stuff that we found, which I was not expecting to find as much cool stuff as we did. So yeah, let's, I'll just see you in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so we have three categories of stuff that we got into. These are just fossils, just fossils. These are shells. I believe all of them are fossilized. And then these are our best finds, mostly shell pieces, but there's some awesome stuff in here with some great calcite. So mostly for this pile, it's pieces like this where they are sections of clamshells, likely cohogs. We got a couple of these, which are cohogs, but you can see the hinge section. Again, filled in with coquina. And this one actually calcified a little bit in this hinge area. There's a bit of crystallization. Another piece like that right here. Very, very cool. You can actually see the hinge really well on that one. This one, which is just loaded with them, there's actually a really nice one that's still complete on the back side. And I will likely be excavating that in an upcoming video because the process is drastically different than <laughs> the way I, I excavate, um, you know, the, the baculites and ammonites. The, it's, this material is so much softer, it, it takes a different, yeah. So I'll be doing a video on that one for sure because that is a very nice scallop in there. And then, yeah, the rest are just pieces like this, where you can just see there are just little fossils everywhere. Love the, that druzy-like calcite inside of that barnacle. How cool is that? Yeah, I really, I tried very hard to record this while I was in Florida, and yeah, without a tripod, it just wasn't gonna happen and get stable footage. Look at how nice that little whelk is. Just perfect. So cool. I couldn't believe these two. These are olives, but it's amazing how much sheen is still on them. Just beautiful. So pretty. And then three of these, all of which are fossilized. You can tell they've been sitting in the ground for a very, very long time. This is that ridiculous, ridiculous find that Alexis found. Fossilized oyster with big old fossilized barnacles all over it. That is just too cool. I still can't believe this thing. That is so awesome. And this I am so angry about. <laughs> I 
Apparently my camera was not recording when I found this, which I am so angry about, because it was probably the, the shell find of the day. Look at this thing! It's so pretty. And it was just caked. It took a minute to get this thing cleaned off, but it is just gorgeous. Again, I am so angry that my camera wasn't recording, because that was probably my find of the day right there. Look at the spikes. They're all perfect except for this one. This is the only one that's broken other than that. And it's a little chipped up down here. But other than that, this is literally just perfect, pristine. Found this awesome calcified olive. You can see it's all filled in, but there's actually a great deal of calcite inside of it. Kind of hard to show on the camera, but it's so cool. So awesome, and I'll show you in a minute how I know that they're calcified. <laughs> this is so cool. So this is a piece of a whelk, but inside here, those are all clear calcite crystals. Like, it just sparkles, and you can actually see a vein of calcite that grew into the natural whirl. It's so awesome. Again, just so different than the fossils I'm used to finding. Just crazy. Then this one is so cool. Here, I'll get a little closer on this one. So there is a section of a sand dollar. And this is absolutely a fossil. And listen, I'll show you how I know that. Yeah, uh, sand dollars don't make that noise. <laughs> if you've ever handled a sand dollar, you know that they don't have that kind of weight behind them. So that was pretty awesome. Then this one is just super calcified deep yellow color. So a lot of these pieces are like this, where it's a piece of a quahog shell, fossil quahog shell, but when you investigate closer, you can see that there's actual calcite crystals amidst the fossil. <laughs> see that sparkle in there? This one is really cool in particular because there's a hollowed out shell that has druzy inside the whole thing. All calcite. Oh, it's so cool though. This one really has some druzy. So you can see that's actually where two, two clams, uh, well, I guess one clam, hinged together. But you flip it over, and look at that just druzy coating of calcite in there. And some actual crystals up in here. But the cool thing is you can actually see cross sections right here. These were covered in barnacles. And the calcite just made a blanket coating over the whole thing. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh. After finding these, I am absolutely going back with the intent of doing some serious fossil hunting. Hopefully by then I can secure a good spot. So yeah, no, the same thing. Another piece of, of quahog. This one has some barnacles on it. But look at that. Look at that calcite exposed in there. Oh, it's so cool. Again, same thing, that coquina host rock, but it's just completely calcified with full-blown crystals. That is just so awesome. Can't even believe some of these things. This one has some great crystal structure. Just gorgeous. So pretty. Wow, okay, <laughs> getting lost in them again. Another great example piece of quahog, and then the whole thing is just coated. They may not be huge crystals, but they're just so beautiful. And then this is perhaps my favorite fossil find. Same thing, piece of quahog. There's some good crystals in there. Absolutely some good crystals in there. But this one is unique, and let me grab an example so I can show you why. So if you look in this one, you can see all those little tubes in there. I'm gonna hold my hand steady. All those little tubes. If you look in that little spot that's exposed, you can see those little squiggles. Well, those are actually fossilized worm shells. It still exist today. This is not a fossil. This is one that I found in a different video. And yeah, it's just so cool. They're actually full-blown fossilized, and if you look closely, here, this may help, or it may not. I don't know yet. Each one of those little tubes has a little uh, calcite vug inside of it. How cool is that? 
yeah, just some just some great crystal structure in this one too. That is so awesome. This is one of the coolest fossils. I love the tiny stuff like this. I, I love this kind of stuff. And surprise, surprise, once again, Alexis has the crystal find of the day. So it may not look like much from this angle. But look at that golden calcite. Just beautiful. Look at those crystals. Just phenomenal. I don't know how she does it, but every time we go out, she'll look for, like, a fraction of the amount of time that I look and still ends up finding the best stuff every time. They're just beautiful. Here is a cool little trick that, well, I guess it's not a trick, it's just, you know, anyway. <laughs> uh, to tell if your fossils are actually fossils or if they're shells. Oh! Okay, while well, I have the black light out, I totally almost forgot about this. Also found this little guy. Little cone snail. Uh, yeah, look at how freaking cool this thing is. That is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's fluorescing just bright orange. That is so awesome. There we go, it's showing a little bit of there. Okay, so I'm hoping my camera will cooperate with me. So, these are the fossil shells. Those are just the conglomerate pieces, but if we look up over here, this entire section is the one that uh, has the nice calcified fossils. And I will show you how I know that they're calcified. Oh, please focus. Look at how much those things fluoresce. That is just so cool. Considering we didn't have much time and I had to figure out somewhere to hunt close to home, uh, I'd say <laughs> I am immensely satisfied with the results. I was not even beginning to imagine that we would get into this kind of cool stuff. I mean, oh, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, a lot of this stuff, like especially these uh, clamshells with the the calcite, they look so much like the stuff that is coming out of Ruck's pit. Except obviously it's a it's a far cry from, calcite wise it's a far cry from what they're digging up out of there but still <laughs> wasn't that awesome all right well that's gonna do it for this one I hope you all enjoyed definitely don't forget to leave me a comment and like the video if you did it helps tremendously to spread it around so more people can see it and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of these awesome videos from the series that are going to be coming out as well as the normal content which we'll be resuming as soon as the series is over. I'll have a link to my Instagram, my Facebook group, and my Etsy store in the description. Definitely check out the Etsy if you want to buy some awesome rocks, fossil shells, and, you know, I'm sure I have some other stuff in there. <laughs> anyway, though, that's going to do it for this one. Definitely don't forget to come back for the next part of the series. And, yeah, hope you all have a good one and stay safe. We didn't have much time, and I had to figure out somewhere to hunt 